Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very interesting and I would say like a really tricky question. We have 2 divided by by 2 divided by 2 and divided by 2. Seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy, however many people are going to get this problem incorrect. So if you could do that without a calculator, write your answer, write your solution in the comments below. Before the video I made a quick poll and here's a result. So 13% of people think that correct answer is option D right here, 5% of people think that correct answer is option C, 24% of people think that correct answer is option B, and 58% of people think about a is a correct answer and this is a very tricky moment because people's answers were split between obviously between two options a and a and b but we don't know exactly what is the correct answer so right now let's test our school knowledge let's test our algebra skills and write your assumption in the comments below what do you think is a correct answer to this question because a lot of students might be thinking a correct answer is is option A. And right now, uh, let's try to figure out why do people think that the correct answer is option A. From my perspective, a lot of students might be thinking, okay, 2 divided by 2 right here equal to 1, and we have right here uh, the same division, so 2 divided by 2 equal to, equal to 1. With this division in the middle, so we have 1 uh, divided by this one, so as a result, maybe a lot of students think that way. So a lot of students think that the correct answer is is A, we have right here 1. So I hope you solve this question and right now let's try to solve this question correctly and uh, correctly and step by step because obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So right now I'm going to say a few words about order of operation which is extremely important part in mathematics. And here's like a quick example. So 4 plus 4 times 4. Maybe the easiest question you've ever seen but in the same way this is a very tricky question because a lot of students arguing with each other what is the correct accuracy correct answer. A lot of students might be thinking, okay, let's just go from, from left to right. So we have four, uh, 4 plus 4 right here. So right here we have 8 on the left side and in the end we just uh, multiply it. So as a result the correct answer is 32. But there is like another branch. We multiply it first. So we have 4 uh, times 4. We just multiply it first. And the next thing we're going to add 4 plus 16. So the correct answer is 20. And just agree with me because it's really weird to solve this question with the with the two different answers. We just need to solve this question with one and only one correct answer. And a lot of students might be arguing what is the correct answer? This one, 32 or or 20 because both answers looks like great yeah we just saw it in the first interpretation we just saw it from left, left to right so we just do addition first and in the second interpretation we just saw it like from right to left but basically this is like multiplication first then addition so here is like the main question because maybe a lot of students might be asking why do I show this example why don't we like solve uh, the question from the beginning uh, right now we need to know about order of operation because right here obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer so let's call this a first method and let's call this as a second method. So right now the main thing of this video which is called order of operation. So order of operation this little quick checklist which helps us to order all these mathematical mathematical operations. Uh, basically in, in our world there are two most popular order of operation. Then does 65% of people use it and 35% of people use bottomless. Uh, maybe this, uh, these abbreviators are new for you but I'm gonna say you one really important moment. Doesn't matter where do you live mm, doesn't matter what we have, what descriptions do you have from here? Doesn't uh, doesn't matter uh, what is your region? I mean, the meaning is absolutely the same. So doesn't matter where you live. You you can you can choose PEMDAS or or BORMAS. Uh, it sounds a little bit different, PEMDAS and BORMAS, but uh, to be honest, the meaning is absolutely the same. So it just depending on what country you live in. For example, if we Mm, live in this country, so if we're talking about these descriptions and uh, this description, we just do parentheses first, the next thing exponents, multiplication, division, addition and subtraction, so from the top to the bottom. Or if you're talking about this description, if, if you live exactly there, so you can easily talk about bottomless, but the meaning is absolutely the same. So basically you can learn one of these order of operations, you can learn you can learn bottomless without any problems and you can, you can learn PEMDAS order of operation. And right now, what does that mean? Because as I said before, I would like to stop really briefly for a few seconds because a lot of students don't know about order of operation. And right now, for further calculations, let's choose, for example, PEMDAS. Okay, let's remember it. Let's remember this quick checklist. And let's solve 
let's solve our question so right now let's go uh, and let's solve our question but before this uh, let's go back right here because uh, as i said before we can't solve this question with two different answers before solving our question in the beginning let's practice real quick our our order of operations so let me just erase all the things from here let me just erase all this uh, all these notes uh, and right now let's solve this question according to pemdas order of operation let's practice real quick and then go back um, to the beginning as i said before every time you have algebraic expression i recommend you to draw this quick checklist so in our case pemdas order of operation i don't want to write what does that mean because uh, i hope you understand it from the previous step parentheses exponent multiplication division addition and subtraction and the main thing this order of operation works from the top to the bottom okay and right now how does it works in our question what do we have in our question what mathematical operators we have in our question we have addition and we have multiplication so basically we are talking about uh, addition and addition right here and multiplication right here and the main question what elements comes first from left from from the top to the bottom basically we don't have parentheses we don't have exponents we don't have division we don't have subtraction so basically we have only multiplication and only addition so what what letter comes first from the top to the bottom of course letter m which means multiplication so the first thing we need to multiply 4 times 4 and a correct answer according to PEMDAS is 20 but why why does it a solution why this solution is absolutely is absolutely wrong because we do addition and then multiplication with 99% of cases multiplication and division is before addition and and subtraction so every time just do this uh, just multiply or or divide and then addition and subtraction so this is a wrong order of operation that's why it's extremely great to know about this PEMDAS order of operation okay so I really hope you understand it and right now when we when we learned it when we know um, that multiplication is before addition or doesn't matter we can easily have like parentheses from here exponents in our question on my channel i have a lot of questions with different things with parentheses with exponents with brackets with uh, different combinations with different mixtures so if you're interested you can easily mm, look my uh, through look through my youtube channel and i hope you will find what you exactly need okay so right now let's go to, to exactly to our question where do we have it where do we have our uh, our question so here's our question so don't forget about it we have it in from the beginning so two divided by two divided by two and divided by two and exactly right here we have our or we already have our order of operation and to be honest this is not a hard case because we can actually get rid of a lot of things first of all we can actually get rid of, of this parenthesis because we don't have it basically we don't have uh, uh, this parenthesis this type of parenthesis this type of parenthesis or this one we don't have it we don't have we, we don't have exponents right here we don't have power so we can actually skip this first two parts we don't have parentheses we don't have exponents and it's really great right now the next thing is multiplication and division this is one group don't be confused about it even addition and subtraction is one group so we just need to find do we have like a multiplication or division multiplication we don't have multiplication we have division so we have all the time right here we have all the time division and that's it we don't have any of those we don't have any addition we don't have any subtraction we have only only division from here and right now okay we have only division so according to PEMDAS okay we have only division but what is the key moment because a lot of students might be asking how do we need to solve it like from maybe from right to left or from left to right or maybe from here from the middle to the left or from the middle to the right because we have three uh, division sign we have one two and uh, first second and third and of course if we choose for example this sign as the first one we have one answer if we choose for example this one we have completely different answer and you know this combination is extremely tricky moment because we need to ask our PEMDAS what is the correct order how do we need to work with it and here's my quick answer we need to do it in a strict order from left to right so when we have a mixture of multiplication division we need to do it in a strict order from left from left to right and addition and subtraction but in, to be honest in 100% of cases if you have if you have 2 minus 1 in the end you don't need like to draw this PEMDAS order of operation because you already know it so right now okay from left to right let's do it so let's solve it first of all we have first division sign second and third what what division sign comes first from left to right of course this one so we have our first step 2 divided by 2 equal to one and a lot of students because as i said before we we just did uh, this step in the beginning so we we just divide two divided by two but moreover we just jump to this side but we don't need to do it we need to rewrite our expression so one divided by two 
and divided by 2. And right now, what is the tricky moment? We don't need to divide 2 divided by 2. Right now, we need to scan once more. What is the first sign from left to right? We have only two signs, so this one and this one. What is the first sign from left side right here and for, uh, to right side? What is the first sign? Of course, this sign is the first from left to right. So that's why 1 divided by 2, this is our next step. Of course, you can write it as a fraction like that, or you can write as a 0 0.5. Okay, let's write it, for example, as a fraction, a basic fraction like that. Okay, we can do it like that. And the final thing, right here we have division by 2, so let's do it. Let's write it, so 1 half divided by, by 2. This is very basic thing, because 1 half divided by 2, this is our... Um, we can multiply 1 half times 1 half, which is absolutely the same thing. So a correct answer is 1 fourth. And one really tricky moment, because I, I, show, you, I show you a poll uh, in the beginning, so just keep in mind this 1 fourth, okay? Just keep in mind, let's remember it, 1 fourth as a correct answer, according to PEMDAS order of operation. And right now, let's go back to the beginning, let's see the result of a poll because a lot of students yeah we have it right here so uh, a is a correct answer uh, according to this poll and 58 percent of people think that correct answer is option a but the, the very tricky moment right now because option a is the wrong answer we solved it and we said that correct answer is one one fourth b is the wrong answer but 24 percent of people choose option b as a correct answer this is absolutely wrong what about option C? Option C, like uh, mm -hmm. people choose uh, in a, with the five percent probability, so option C is absolutely wrong. But in our case, option D is a correct answer. We just solved it according to PEMDAS, and option D is a correct answer. So this is extremely great moment because um, right now I recommend my quick recommendation. It's really interesting, like from a different from different angle. Right now, just read your thoughts about this question because I just I think that more than 50% of people in the comment section, they choose option A as a correct answer. This is my intuition, I think about it, because uh, every time I have this question with the, with the different people, um, not like necessarily students, but the different people, they choose option A as a correct answer. But according to PEMDAS, according to basic uh, math operations, a correct answer is option Option C and 30% of people uh, should be proud of, uh, of everything because they solved this question uh, they solved this question correctly. From another perspective, 58% of people uh, should review a basic mass and of course 24% of people should review a basic mass because this is extremely um, tricky tricky question. So I want to thank you for watching. I really hope you understand this quick class. I really hope you understand uh, this uh, quick video, quick explanation. I really hope you enjoy it. You can also pause uh, the exact the part you need from here this is like a quick tip for for everyone that uh, you can solve this question randomly because with a random method you can end up with a wrong solution but if you know about PEMDAS you can end up with with a great uh, with a great solution so we know a question correct answer is one force forget about option a forget about option b and forget about option c correct answer is option uh, D, which is extremely great. So I want to say thank you everyone for watching, thank you for, for being here, for for your support, I really hope you enjoy this type of content, and yeah, if you have a problem with basic math, you can actually watch, you can actually go through this YouTube channel, a lot of different questions, basic question on my YouTube channel, uh, there is no like uh, derivatives uh, or integral, very basic thing, like relax and quick question, if you're interested in this, if you if you have a free time, you can easily practice your basic skill, and of course for, for, for students it's it's a great uh, things to uh, thing to practice i just, just record this long video sometimes because i want you to understand maybe a lot of students who are struggling with with the basic math concept as right here yeah so we have a basic thing yeah four plus four times four that's why i just solved this question step by step and i just show two variations with this one and this one just just for students to see that a random method is absolutely incorrect because if you start with addition then multiplication i can completely right here wrong wrong answer and the wrong solution so uh, i hope you understand my, my thoughts about it i want to say thank you for watching thank you for being here and wish all the best in your life take care of yourself and have a great day see you in the next videos